Dominoes, an evil organization stealing the hopes and dreams of restaurant owners, or the best thing to happen to food delivery. Let's discuss this in today's video. Domino's, a chain started by the Mahonohome brothers in the 1960s, was only a small little venture to make some quick money. The brothers were hardworking and decided that a restaurant would be the answer to make a quick buck. What that turned into is the mammoth that Domino's is today. After a couple of years, uh, and uh, my store in Ypsilanti became uh, probably the busiest pizzeria in the whole state of Michigan. Domino's Pizza for me, when it was first opened, was great. I remember the convenience of having a great pizza delivered for the first time, as the area I lived in at the time didn't really have any alternative for delivered pizza. Five But let's set the record straight here for any of the Italians who may be watching. Domino's Pizza will never be an ode to Italian pizza. Let's not kid ourselves. In fact, did you know Domino's was that confident in its pizza being the best take on the cheesy slice that they tried to sell this to the Italians? Yeah, well, that didn't go too well. Domino's last year closed all 13 Italian locations. I mean, I don't know how they expected that really to work for them. Domino's Pizza's rise to prominence is as much about marketing savvy and strategic expansion as it is about the product itself. The company's ability to harness the power of franchising allowed it to spread rapidly, ensuring that a Domino's store was never too far away. This large presence is a double-edged sword. Yes, it brings convenience and familiarity, yet it often overshadows local pizzerias. I mean, out of interest, how often do you visit your local pizzeria? Or are you ordering from Domino's or their competitor chains? For me, in the local area that I'm in, Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut, these are the ones that are really dominating the local area. It's very rare to see a successful pizza chain around where I live succeed. The real game changer for Domino's came with their guarantee of delivery within 30 minutes or less, or the whole order is free. Yes, completely free. This bold promise revolutionized the food delivery industry and set a new standard for their competitors to respond to. This, however, didn't last too long either. It was causing massive losses in money. Well, because of course this promise was just too outlandish in the end and caused many stresses to meet their delivery window for their delivery drivers. And personally, you don't really want people driving on the roads to feel that level of stress all evening delivering pizza. They quickly changed this approach and removed this promise very quickly, but it will definitely go down in history as one of the best promises made to consumers in the food delivery market. Domino's was the first company to actually leverage technology properly in the food industry, introducing online ordering long before it became a norm. Yes, this little evil thing that never told you the truth about when your pizza is coming really was actually a game changer. Domino's did find themselves in a spot of bother, however, due to their app, as they found themselves in a legal battle that they lost because of accessibility for the blind. This came to a settlement last year and prompted many businesses to reaffirm their need to adapt their sites for the blind. Despite this laziness on Domino's part, it was a great win for disabled advocates. Anyhow, the rapid growth and focus on efficiency sometimes did come at a cost. Controversies surrounding labour practices, including another lawsuit on wage violations, soon hit the public domain. Despite these, Domino's has shown a capacity to adapt, addressing criticisms head-on with campaigns that promise better recipes and more transparent practices. I personally haven't noticed the flavour of Domino's change too much over the years. What do you think? Today, Domino stands as a testament to the power of a simple idea executed on a massive scale. Its impact on the global food industry cannot be overstated, and its story serves as a blueprint for businesses aiming to leave a mark on the world. Franchising was key to Domino's success. Franchising is the scheme in which businesses typically buy in a lot of money to brand themselves as the primary company, share some of their sales profits to the primary company, and source ingredients solely from the primary company. This meant that Domino's, while they were expanding, could, instead of making significant financial losses in their expansion, they just profit off the store's opening instead, limiting themselves of any risk if the area doesn't take too well to them. Yet the question lingers, does the convenience and reach justify the cultural and economic footprint it leaves behind? That's something consumers should continue to ponder as they enjoy their delicious slices of pepperoni passion. That there is a local Italian man who wants to share the authentic slice with you, but is losing out to the big guy. I have to say, when researching about Domino's, I found out that the brothers who started this business weren't really determined by food. They were determined for money, which they succeeded way beyond their beliefs in. 
From hard, tough, young beginnings to huge riches, their journey is a really inspiring one. A fun fact I found out is that the CEO has committed most of his wealth to charity as part of his will. This is under the Bill Gates Foundation. So at least this story somehow ends on a positive note. But in the end, the story of Domino's is a tale of ambition, innovation, and the hunger for success, with a side order of some controversies. But as to whether it's slightly evil or just fair game, that's up for you to decide. But one thing is certain, Domino's has changed the way we eat pizza, for better or worse. Now I'm not going to leave you here without giving any opinions of my own. Personally, Domino's Pizza never comes close to a real authentic Italian pizza restaurant near you. It's not just the experience of the food at an authentic Italian restaurant. Trying the nice drinks that they prepare for you, having some of the lovely starters that are true authentic Italian starters, you just can't beat it. And I feel we've got lazy with pizza. And personally, I would like to see more Italian restaurants open and us as consumers shop more locally. Thanks a lot for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please do leave a comment discussing your thoughts. I was really happy to see the feedback on the last video. I try and respond to every single comment and I definitely do at least read them. So please do let me know what you think about pizza delivery where you are. Is Domino's the key leader in your area or are they losing out to Papa John's? Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.